What would you do if you received $20,000 that you didn't know was coming to you? Two experts are here with two sets of ideas. It is time for Secret Stash. So today, I am playing the role of this investor. I'm a guy. I'm a 27-year-old law student making about $35,000 a year, carrying major student debt and renting an apartment. So joining me with their best ideas for my 20K, Michael Lee, founder and managing partner at Tiger Wealth Management. Lauren Lyons-Cole is with me, personal finance contributor for thestreet.com and a certified financial planner. Lauren, what should I do? Okay, so here's what I would say. You wanna set aside about $5,000, maybe a little more, for your living expenses because chances are the student's gonna graduate from law school and have a few months where they need to transition before getting their full-time job. So save a job. little bit. Save a little bit and then take whatever's left over, put half of it towards your student loans and half of it towards whatever retirement options you might have. Could be a Roth IRA or a 401k at work. Okay, so sounds pretty good. So 5,000, 7,500 and 7,500. Exactly. What's your take, Michael? So um, I would say that don't be afraid of debt if you're going to law school, particularly a good law school in New York and if you're going to work at a big time New York law firm, right? So if you graduate with $200,000 of law school debt, but you're going to make $200,000 your first year out, it's really not something to be concerned with. Um, you be it's pretty low, right? Yeah, relatively low interest rates. Those interest rates are going up. I would say that, you know, there's people out there like social workers that end up $200,000 in debt, making $40,000 a year. So you're saying if you're going to go on the partner track at scatting, go for it. Let your law debt just accumulate. Doesn't matter if you want to get out and be a social worker, do something else. Well, it's just the world needs social workers. I don't know how many attorneys we need, right? Um, then the next part with the money, I'd say you got to find a way to put this in the stock market. Obviously, tax qualified way. You have, with the low income, a Roth IRA is a great idea to put it to work. I'm still a huge fan of the financials ahead of the Fed raising rates, um, as, as well as consumer discretionary. The, I think the economy is booming. The consumers got more money in the market. Any, anything with any type of pricing power, I think, is going to do very, very well. Um, the three stocks that I highlighted are J.P. Morgan, Wells Fargo, Disney all hit all time highs within the last week or two. And you know what they say about stocks that hit all time highs? They usually continue to hit all time highs. Okay, so you're saying some goes into the stock market, some blue chips that you like in particular, take down some of the debt. You're a little bit different, Lauren. You're not as worried about the law school debt. What would you do within some of the 7,500 pools that you gave us? So um, definitely you want to do a tax advantage savings account. So going towards a Roth IRA or towards your 401k when you're young really pays off. The thing that worries me is I have a lot of clients who are lawyers and they can't always uh, keep up with the investing, right? So a lot of times I would just recommend going into a target date fund. So you've got the market exposure, but you don't have to really pay attention to the stock market. You don't have to babysit. Yeah, and then with the student loans, you know, a lot of people have an emotional attachment to those, so pay down a little bit if you want to go towards the highest interest rate loan first. Okay, and Michael, as I mentioned in my profile, I'm a renter. Is that something that you feel like, well, well we cobble together some money? Hope, hopefully, hopefully your sign-on bonus from uh, your big New York City law firm or these awesome recommendations I'm giving you will double or triple. There you go. <laughs> and then, then there will be I'm your down in. payments. Moving in and moving Knock up. Knock on wood. All right. Lauren, final word. Final word would just be don't forget to have some cash set aside, though, because too many Americans don't have cash savings, so that can't be overlooked. Yeah, there was a recent poll that was pretty frightening. I think it was like 40% could not go longer than two months. Great ideas from you both. Thank you very much. Lauren Lyons-Cole joining us there, along with Michael Lee.